Now, I'm thrilled, Skinny, to tell you that Jasmine Carra is a blues musician from Sweden, and uh, we've got a new single, which is been released tomorrow, but she's going to sing it live for us here in our lavish studio. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's not too roomy for you. It's not too big for you, this studio. No, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jasmine and her boys are from, from Sweden, and we're delighted to have them with us. Now, your new album's called Blues Ain't Nothing But a Good Woman Gone Bad. Yeah. So what inspired that as a title? Why did you think of that? Well, um, when I'm on stage, I'm kind of like another person than I You've am. You've gone bad. Yeah, exactly. That's that's actually true because when I'm on stage, I'm, I dare to do more things and I'm like crazy, you know, I'm headbanging and <laughs> I go crazy on stage. So yeah. kind of like that, you know. And do the boys who are sitting behind you, do they have to hold you down? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're all nodding. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the album's a collection of blues and, and R&B. And yes, course. exactly. It's I, I've heard you rehearse and you're a fantastic singer. And yeah. Well, thank so you how do you much. decide on the final running order? How did you decide on? Um, well, what's actually, be in it? Um, first of all, I didn't want to do a cover album, but when, when I heard the songs, I was like, "Oh my God, these songs are exactly what I would love to do," and I I just love the songs, and yeah. we listened to maybe thousand songs from the chess catalog. And I, the first 15 I heard, I was like, oh, this one, this one, this one. <laughs> so I just loved everyone, but it was an easy choice to, to choose the songs. To pick the best. Yeah. yeah, and then we recorded it in 48 hours. So I believe that must have been an intense process. I mean, did you, did you manage to get any rest? Did you manage to, to get a sleep? Or well, even I don't think we wanted to. <laughs> we actually had so much fun, and it was crazy. The, it was like magic in the studio. And we just uh, we just loved it. It was, and uh, I think almost every song is like one take for every song. So that's fantastic because we wanted to catch the feeling, and you know. Yeah, well, it was executive produced by Marshall Chess, who's the son, the founder of Chess Records. Yes, exactly. He's an executive producer. <laughs> yeah, executive. Yeah, executive. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, come on. Sorry I, for my English. <laughs> excuse me, I can't speak a word of Swedish. I had to find out what Willkommen was. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway, so the first one you're going to do for us is uh, In the Basement, Part 1. Originally yes. released by Etta James and Sugar Pie De Santo. Yeah. So is Etta James one of your influences? Oh, yeah, you can say she is because, yeah, I just love her work. She's amazing. Well, as I said, I've already heard you sing this in rehearsal, mm -hmm. and I'm looking forward to hearing it again, so let's hear it. Thank you. From, from Jasmine Cara and the boys. In the basement. One, two, one, two, three, four, one. Cut, 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 clap your hands. Uh-huh, just like that. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, hit me. Three, ha. In the basement, that's where it's at. 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 In the basement, that's where it's
<laughs> I love that bit at the end. Thank you. That's great. You just add that one on as a bonus. <laughs> yeah. It's terrific. Well done. Well done, everybody. Thank that you. It's great. So tell me about yourself. You were born in Sweden. To yes. A Swedish mother, Iranian father. That's true, so yeah. What kind of musical influences did you have then as a young girl? Well, I think uh, I'm very happy that I got two cultures <laughs> to choose from. I mean, um, because they listen to all kind of music during my... Uh, when I grew up, <laughs> uh, my dad he listened to a lot of Persian and Bob Marley, and and uh, my mom listened to Beatles, and you know all kinds of. So it's it's a good mix. Yeah, and w early on you decided to do talent shows. Yeah, uh, when I was eleven, that was the first uh, performance you can say, and uh, yeah, I had a lot of. <laughs> I just loved it. I just felt directly this is what I really want to do. But then I ended up. Uh, I ended my music for two years and. Why did that you was, do that? Uh, actually, I had a kind of a bad relationship. And it's a long story, but I ended for two years, and those two years were the most horrible years in my life. But then when I found the music again, it was like yeah. I found my life, you know? And ever since that day, I just felt like music is everything for me. And from that day, I just, you know, I decided to give my all to the music. Good. And you, you left Sweden uh, to go to New York. Yeah, I did. Why, why? Was that because you felt that you'd have more musical influences in New York? Or? Well, I was just thinking, like, you know, the higher you, you go for it and you see where, where you can, you know, where you end up. <laughs> and I really, it was my biggest dream to come to New York. Mm. What about London? Oh, I love London. It's, it's beautiful and people are so nice. Like I told you, I just, I love it. I could live here. Could you? What oh, about yeah. the band? What about the boys? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah they I love know. it too. They <laughs> no, no, they prefer Stockholm, they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, was it a revelation to become immersed in a new culture? When you got to New York, it, it's a bit of a change from, from Stockholm, from Sweden, isn't it? I mean, the yeah. music scene is different. Did well, you yeah. find it hard to integrate? Well, no, actually, I just felt like I was more home there than in Sweden funny enough <laughs> but i just i don't i don't know i felt like home once i got to new york but your heart is still in sweden i presume no 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 it's in new york for sure <laughs> <laughs> but yet the, a book of your diaries and blogs and notes has been released in swedish yes that's correct so can we expect an english version oh yes it's on its way right now yeah. do you sing in swedish um sometimes but not very often <laughs> yeah <laughs> Well, maybe we haven't got time for that, but you're going to sing another song for us now yeah. in English. And uh, it's called Ordinary Joe, originally performed by Terry Callier. So what about this track? Why, why would you pick this track? Well, I think it's beautiful and it's very soft and, uh, well, it's just like a nice groove and... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hear it again. So Jasmine Cara, once more, Ordinary Joe. Turn you on Or tell you that I'm laughing just to keep From crying Pretty music When you hear it Keep on trying To get near it A little rhythm For your spirit Oh but that's what it's for Come on in, it's a door Oh I've seen a sparrow Get high Waste is you know he thinks it's easy to fly He's just a little bit freer than I Now here's a mystery Maybe you can help to make it clear to me When you fast to sleep But then what is it that's lighting up the dreams you see And all of your tears I can't conceal it And all of your praise May not reveal it You got soul So you can feel it And when you make the scene Then you know what I mean Oh, high is in the sparrow Get high Waste his time in the sky Don't you know he thinks It's easy to fly It's just a little bit Freer than I Thank you. 
And if you must just take your secrets underground Nah, politicians are trying to speak to you Mad gonna watch us, trying to teach you That if you will, we're trying to reach you If you're lost in the state, that's okay Come on black, yeah, I've been the last to deny And I'm just an average guy don't you know each little bird in the sky is just a little bit freer than I, ordinary Joe? Although they say you're just a lazy so and so, what they think is real is nothing but an animated puppet show. So don't let time and space confuse you. Abuse ya Little big Joe Williams Abuse ya In the light of the sun You can see how they run Oh, I, I see the sparrow get high I see the sparrow get high Wasted to the sky Wasted to the sky Wasted to the sky Wasted to fly It's just a little bit freer than night Hey, ordinary Joe Ordinary Joe, that's from her debut album, Jasmine Cara's debut album, Blues Ain't Nothing But a Good Woman Gone Bad. And of course, the single that you heard earlier in the basement part one is out tomorrow. So we wish you luck with that. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Have a good fun. day. <laughs> lovely having you with us. Oh, we love. <laughs>